இங்கிலீஷ் ஜூனியர் நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி டூ கெட் ரெடி டென் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் ஓப்பனிங் தி லேபர் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் அட் லக்னோ மிஸ்டர் ஜவஹர்லால் நேரு செட் ஐ எம் கிளாட் டு பி ப்ரெசன்ட் அட் திஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் இட் வில் பி அவுட் ஆஃப் பிளேஸ் டு டாக் ஆஃப் revolution here it has become almost a habit with us to repeat old grievances and tell old tales i do not mean that we should not persist in righting wrongs though old they be but we must at the same time be alert and keep our heads on our shoulders this country belongs to all of us before we attained independence our object was to drive the foreigners out of this land we talked of social and economic reforms then too but our struggle at that time was mainly political after the attainment of independence economic and social problems have begun to loom large before us there may be differences of opinion about these problems but the question is how to solve them we talk of rapid reforms but our chief defect is that we are more given to talking about things than to doing them we seem to think that social and economic reforms can be achieved merely by resolutions or legislations you ought to give thought to your problems but i would ask you to broaden your vision and think of india of bharat mata as a whole who is bharat mata it is you the people and the question before us is how to raise the economic standard of the nation giving government jobs to a few people will not solve the problem of the crores of indians who are unemployed it is not possible for the government to find employment for everyone if unqualified or employed the country will suffer let all those who are engaged in an occupation do their jobs well for production is proportionate to the work done the prosperity of a nation depends on its capacity for production and on a rational distribution of wealth in order to ensure the latter we must get rid of all the present defects a revolution cannot increase our wealth which really calls for hard work after the revolution of 1917 the russians had to work very hard before they could reach their present position they had their five year plans and labor with diligence and patience for them the people gladly endured hardship and suffering so that the foundation of their republic may be true and strong mr j murthy bell hotel pune 6 dear sir in reply to your letter of the 16th of june asking me to prepare a scheme and estimate for hot water supply and cooking apparatus to the bell hotel i have to inform you that i shall be pleased 
to do this if you will furnish me with some further particulars i do not think it would be advisable to use the special boilers you propose and i shall be glad to know if you will allow me to erect my own make of boilers use all my own materials employ all my own labor and carry out the scheme under my supervision if you decide to adopt this course i shall be glad and i can assure you that the work will be carried out to your satisfaction but if you attempt to carry out the scheme as you suggest it will in my opinion result in failure yours truly stop